Let me tell you about Soldovia, Alaska. Soldovia is a small town on the south end of the Kenai Peninsula across Kachemak Bay from Homer, Alaska. We had an adventure, and it involved a taxi, a trail, Cessna, a landing craft, and, well, let's just take a look at this, okay? We were late for the foot traffic ferry from Homer to Seldovia by five minutes. Don't worry, said the lady at the ticket counter, and she jumped on her radio handset, and after a few rogers, she said she found us a way to Seldovia, if we didn't mind traveling with a John Deere tractor mower. Sure, we said, and we were shown an aluminum landing craft. Once on the other side, you will be picked up for the next 10 miles into town. The trip across Kachemak Bay was so very picturesque. I cannot stop marveling at the Kenai Mountains. Breathtaking. That's all I can say. We arrived just inside of McDonald's Spit, viewed here in Jackaloff Bay, and were greeted by a lady in a taxi that dated back from the 1970s with no seat belts. And she talked to us about the roadside attractions along the way. Soldovia's laid back vibe is evident from the moment you arrive. There are no traffic lights, no shopping malls, but if you're looking for a quaint, unique town with lots of history and authentic Alaska charm, this would be the right place for you. Our first stop in Soldovia was at Perry's Cafe, and they had two main food items, those being ice cream and sandwiches. We got sandwiches to have for lunch, because we had yet to have lunch at this point, and while we were eating, seemingly the entirety of the child population of Soldovia came to Perry's to come get their ice cream, and to sit on the porch and eat their ice cream and it was a horde of children all surrounding us while we ate our lunch. It was quite, it was quite a thing to see. After that, we headed out past the elementary school to begin the Otterbahn Trail, a trail that starts at the elementary school and goes on to a, a beach. The elementary school is a, also a community center of sorts which is why the trail starts there. Autobahn trail? The Otterbahn. It's, it's like otters. It's a portmanteau of otter and autobahn. Otterbahn. Got it. Okay, thanks, Ash. I was inside there. Cold shots, I should have done that. The current Russian Orthodox Church, St. Nicholas, was built in 1891, a testament to those of Russian descent who chose to stay behind after the sale of Alaska to the U.S. in 1867. The church, a landmark on the Kenai Peninsula, began in 1820, and the first church was made of logs and was down along the beach. The present church is believed to have been built in 1891 and named St. Nicholas at that time. The bell tower was installed in 1906. I believe this is what is known as an Alaskan mill, a milling machine that takes logs and turns them into milled lumber. Soldovia was the center of commerce for the whole Kenai Peninsula before the road to Homer. In the 1920s, Seldovia was the main commerce center for all of western Alaska. In 1931, a wooden boardwalk was built along the waterfront to facilitate travel through town. Seldovia became known throughout south-central Alaska as the boardwalk town. The Great Alaskan Earthquake of 1964 changed Seldovia forever. 
the landmass subsided four feet, allowing high tides to wash over the boardwalk and into its buildings. This event, and with the road which now comes down from Anchorage to Homer, Soldovia was dislodged from being the top commerce center in the area, and Homer now takes that role. Seldovia's waterfront boardwalk was replaced with a new one from fill from surrounding hills for the town to be rebuilt on higher ground above the tides. But the charm of old Seldovia is retained in an original section of the old boardwalk which remains along the Seldovia Slough. We were about halfway out but we had to abandon our hike on the Otterbahn Trail to be at Seldovia's airport in time for our flight back. Quaint was the way I described the town, but even quainter is the Sildovia Airport Terminal. One Cessna landed and a gentleman with his Yorkshire Terrier stepped out to the tarmac to receive a part he ordered for his outboard motor, and our plane was next. I hopped into the co-pilot seat while my traveling partner Ashley rode in the back. We arrived back in good shape at Homer after a breathtaking view of the spit, and thus ended a great adventure.